My brethren, welcome to episode number nine of turning one penny into $35,000 all live in the thrift store. Oh, you fat man. I, 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 I got the internet like going nuts. Okay guys, so I gotta sit down for this introduction because we have a lot of brass tacks and calculations to get into for episode number nine so I can share with you guys how much profit I've accumulated towards my goal of reaching $35,000 to be financially free and to finally pay off my house. I feel like that is a huge step towards me being able to do whatever I want, live the life how I choose how I want, and not be begotten or beholden to trying to earn money in this rat race, if I'm just being frank and honest with you guys. So if you haven't seen this series yet, definitely be sure to catch up on the first eight episodes, but this is number nine, right? And so all of last month in July is when I originally started this series, and this is not a tutorial play-by-play -play on how to make $35,000 in a thrift. This is me using every Every single resource I have at my disposal and one of those is actually making these videos themselves so I finally got paid by YouTube they pay a month after you originally make the content so for the month of July I made a total of five thousand five hundred ninety six dollars and twenty cents off of ad revenue so I really appreciate all you guys for watching this content and as I've been saying Every single like I get on this series, I'm donating a penny towards Feeding America, and the same is true with the subscribers. It basically gives nourishment and food to those in need who are hungry in this country, which is just crazy that hunger is a real issue in this freaking first world ass nation of America. But I've calculated all of those likes that I got from the first month of this series and all the subscribers. So I got 35,700 likes, so that equates to $357 plus 5,000 new subscribers. Welcome everybody. So that is another $50. So this episode, I finally have made my first donation of $407 to Feeding America. And I said my first donation because at the end of this series, I'm gonna go back for all the residual likes I get in the meantime and from the month of August to see how much more money we have to donate towards that amazing cause. So guys, just go ahead and smash the like button, okay? It definitely helps more people than myself, right? Jackpot. With that being said, we have the calculations of the amount of sales I have made from this series as of last episode with the items I picked up. I sold 88 items for a grand total of $2,070.41 profit, plus I profited a little off shipping and I have $223.19 of shipping profit. So when you add those totals to my savings from last episode of $5,879.73, purely off of sales, I have $8,173.33. And then you combine that with my ad revenue and off of this series, in terms of me spending time to find the clothes, me spending time to make the videos, I have a grand total of $13,000. $769.53. We are one third of the way to our final destination, our final goal, and I really do appreciate it. Now, I didn't know if I was gonna add my ad revenue into this, but honestly, man, I'm just trying to pay off this crib by any means necessary, and I'm not a full-time thrifter. I'm also not a full-time YouTuber. Half my time is spent behind the scenes just editing all these clips and all the videos. Half of the time is spent me just taking the time in the thrift to record my damn self. And then another big section of my time is spent just listing items. Like obviously if I wanted to be just a big money hawk and, and clothing slanger, I'd just be in the trenches all day. I'd hire people, I'd have minions um, doing my bidding for me. But my original love is just making the content. And that's what I wanna get back to and that's why I wanna pay off my house so that I can truly be free to be creative and really not have to worry about any bills at the end of the day. But this has been a long enough intro. It is early on a Sunday morning. I need to get in the car, get over the first thrift. It is half off. So hopefully, based off the timing, I should be one of the first people to arrive. So we're about to get in there and see what items we can find for episode number nine. Let's go. Uh. All right, there we go, little Tommy Essential. 
Look at that Hilfiger denim. They had the center check, but um, that dude is stained all the way up. No thanks. It's a nice little essential. Three bucks. I'll drill you. I might. Okay, this is hard. They got the Notre Dame Fighting Irish Adidas. Look at the jewelry. Dude, this piece is awesome. Six dollars, yes. Little Nike. Hold on, they got some jackets out. I gotta check out these jackets, bruh. Levi's black denim vest, six. Chunk it in. Dang, this varsity jacket is actually pretty crazy. Look at that biker moto. No tag on it. RIP. Ooh, vintage ski jacket. This is a clean colorway. Seven bucks. This will be like three dollars, 50 cents. And then let's check out the denim. Nothing. I threw in this little vintage Wilson too. I don't know. It's kind of boring. I'm gonna leave it. Hey, it's kind of crispy, man. I like the white piping. That Elsa Nike jacket. It's a dope bike week tee. Yeah, it's hard. Oh, dude, they have the GOAT, the legend, $24. What? Hell no, nah. that'd be like 12. Still a classic, 12 bucks. Let's go for it. All right, dude, this Bucks jersey at this point is like $3. I'ma grab it listed for the low. All right, guys, so there it is, man. We ran through the store very quickly, expeditiously. And um, y'all saw everything I grabbed, but I'm just gonna do a quick little breeze through on the refreshment so you guys can uh, see in full live HD with clean audio what the selections are real quick. I still need to go through the pants, but um, not too shabby for daddy for pulling up on the half sea off day. Let's get them all. See, this is what I'm saying, man. This is why we check the pants. They got Levi's silver tabs. 36 by 34 live in here now the back patch is definitely a little disturbed via the dryer but uh dude some sts for what two bucks all right dude they also got the operation iraqi freedoms seven three fifty yup oh my lord guys check out the shorts dude 10 bucks double half off he's gonna be 250 thomas for your mom Okay guys, so a few days have elapsed. We're in the Salvation Army right now. Steals and deals centrally. Y'all know what time it is. And I came in here, I looked through all the clothes and I found nothing. Then I see a new rack just pedal out, roll out, and these are the items that were on it. Just as I walked in, guys, oh come on man, the hanger's already malfunctioning. Trippy. But as I walked in, I see this Harley Davidson, eagle looking lethal, boulder gray colorway, the Oxford University all embroidered sewing machine going over time. The 4XL for the big boy. Hometown Heat, the Cheryl swoops with all the WNBA championships. The Wrangler, real comfortable jeans, hanger entangled in the all gold lamp, mother freaking wire. Guys, Wrangler Hero, 12, six today, $7 Adidas. Seven. We got something for the ladies that codeine pink lemonade with the blue hits Ooh. incredulous 450 big trifoil on the back and then this piece truly caught my fancy i do think this is a ladies it's like quilted the north face only two bucks are you joking me i'll throw this on the site for any of y'all who might want to get your little girlfriend a little gift you dig slight little bird poo residue but it's nothing i can't look past what? but yeah i just had to include that in here real quick real simple we got some things. All right, there it is, man. Manifested in bag form. We got all those items, $27 were spent. And then behind me, you guys can see we're dropping off some mail to boot. So thank you guys all for the orders. Drop these off and we'll get on to the next. Step out in the night, night, just a giant. Now I'm in the forest, Ichabod Crane. 
Lavish lifestyle, come with some extra luggage. luggage. Lungs feel bigger budgets. It's a touchy subject. And we have Touch arrived, down. my I brethren, at the next thrift of the day, the family thrift outlet on Hillcroft Street, $2.25. Now it smells musty, it smells funky, it smells like a whole truckload of clothes was drenched, moist, and wet. Ugh, it's disgusting. Now if you guys want steals and deals for the $2.25, definitely check out one of the outlets. There are multiple locations in Houston, but uh, we're at the plug, man. So let's find some bang. Hey, the thrift knows its audience. Genuine antique freak. I mean, it says person, but y'all know what it is. Some authentic vintage mustard stains. Then the property of Nike. Huh. Minstrel period color scheme. White tag made in America. It gets no better. Crop top, drop top. Show off that midriff in style. <laughs> oh, man. Look, this is a classic example of boring on the front, banging on the back. You have a gator singing opera on a Harley. You Maluiano. Dude, what are the odds, man? Seriously, you got a Harley protect and serve, dog in the side cart, right? But the back, another opera singing gator. Shout out Yuma, Louisiana, man. Coming through, baby. Yes. Guys, what a gorgeous thrift catch. Dude, fishes get you hella bitches, and guy Harvey Bass gets you hella ass. Look at this guy, lurking in the reeds. Fool got that big mouth. Hold on, man. Top water? Ho oh, ho Swallower. Guys, look at this New York crew neck. I mean, this is stylized like a little piece of Paisley Virgin Monastery Monk scribed garment. Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Did that even make sense? Who cares? Jersey size large with the scribages. I must. No book paper vibes. Look at this, man. A thrift essential. A thrift classic. The Tommy for your mommy. Vert stripes. Look like a 90s nerd, man. That is the goal. This is super hard. Shout out Thomas. Oh, my boy Mick with the smacker. Golden cleats. Sway. Sway. <sighs> Guys, I'm sad. I just got severely blue balled in the thrift. I saw the Nike tag. I saw the check. And then I saw this dude got sprayed down by a super soaker full of bleach. How does one run into a sprinkler of bleach like this? Oh my God. That's sad. Lord have mercy. Not like this. Two L's back to back. Guys, you got the Ken Griffey's, right? I need them. That's who I named my son low key after. But guys, are these size 12? Nah, size what? 11, are you joking me, man? One size too small. If it was even a size bigger, I could like double, quadruple, triple sock. But God, the degraded sway too? Hell nah, bro. The blue balling does not stop. Soccer jersey, Falcao, okay, distressed. Another one, distressed. Another one, distressed. Oh, the Man City? Not too bad, distressed. Man you not too distressed. Chelsea, distressed. What are the odds? Okay, we're back on track with the modern day dinosaur. Eagle looking lethal, low key electrified. Yes, shout out Thomas Edison. Idea thief ass looking ass, bird ass bitch. Dude, what is this? An access pass to an autumn invisibility cloak? Yes, that duck's back. Real duck camo. That's quack -tastic. Oh man, speaking of ducks and uh, waterfowl, I guess it's non-waterfowl. Yo, you have the Heron Preston. Ha! Oh, all embroidered magician's shirt. You do have a nice heron and a couple of uh, pigeons or doves, it appears. Dude, this piece is tough. Some designer low key in the thrift, and then you got the BBC. What? Wait, what? Don't demonetize YouTube. The Billionaires Boys Club. Billionaire Boys Club. Excuse me. Low key illiterate. Okay, hold on. Turn up, man. So I don't know the street value of that hair and Preston off top, but I do know a grail when I grab one. Boy, what? Are you joking me? Guys, lightly dusted with what appears to be some golden retriever fur. You have the Apple Macintosh computers. Oh, size XL, made in USA. Single stitch on the Steve Jobs? Dude, the rainbow Lisa Frank neon color scheme colorway. Boy, if you don't stop playing with me. Well, okay, no way, boy. yeah. Grailicious, well, no way, stray facts. That's a gorgeous piece. Wow, guys, would you believe it, man? Rap tees in the thrift. Bro, you got that moolah? 
cow inspired young greatness rap tea, huh? And the soldier slim. Bro, if it ain't real, it ain't me. Facts. Okay, class. Y'all know when Kinky's not here, I still have to protect the illustriousness of the crew neck king crown. You got the Louisiana crew neck, the Tampa Bay Lightning crew neck, the Texas Stronghorn Longhorn, of course, vintage crew neck, and then the Notre Dame, Notre Flame, all gold, everything crew neck. Damn. Dude, even the accessory section coming through with the Christmas pimp hat and the alumnist hat. Come on, baby, University of Texas. I will be damned if this ain't going in the personal collection and you got the little golden or silver toes to match it. Hold on, dude. The Rydell Dallas Cowboys. Damn near all over print, like 75% tint print. This is absolutely exquisite and wild. Just look at that nice kind of lavender lighting on the helmet. Extended drawstring action. Oh wait, this is double-sided. Oh, hold on. Bro, I thought it stopped on the front. Bro, it continues to the back. Okay, this piece is crazy. It's like if both these shoes had a baby and it supported the greatest team in the NFL. You guys already know it's how it is. We them boys. Bang. Hey, I'll start to sweat a little, but there you have it. One bird, one bat, STL cards, always on deck. Know your history, baby. Harley Museum. This one's clean. Neon embroidery, always a solid choice. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm so blessed that these shirts raced into my life. Oh, my God. America, baby. Amen. Wait a second. Then they have the Rex Kwando pants to match the jacket? Bow to your sensei. Stop. Oh man, there's nothing more inspiring than the tie-dye phallic beacon of light. Birdman! Hold on, you got the pink, navy, black, and white, and then the Lee Rider. Size 44 regular, baby. Who that's vintage? Look at that diagonal embroidery. Dude, the armadillo doing a Heisman on them hoes. I gotta grab this Texas shootout tee, man. It's like Y2K, but hard. Dude, look at this tenacious thrift trio. Chaps, Ralph, Lauren. Oh my God. This is 90s as hell. Light wash jeans, clean. It's been a minute since I found a members only vintage raw cowhide. F with who? Fuck with me. And then of course, the Thomas for your mama's two tone cut and sew, all stitched with the tree floor de lee. Tommy for your mommy, hill figure. Dude, as if that cut and sew classic wasn't enough. You got another one. Another one. Another one. Look at that rodent. The classic Mickey Mouse all gold oh. embroidery. You also have the little elbow patches green sleeves, super durable collar, genus brand. And back door that Americana with the return of the Mac tools, the back of this Mac, crazy. Little bird gang. Bird man. Oh, dude, what y'all know about the Q dogs, bro? They got the black fraternity pieces, hold up. This one even has like puff printing. Guys, this shit is hard. All of these single stitch and old school on the softy sweat. Dude, like half my elementary school teachers were cute dogs, straight up. Guys, that's two more. Two more. Where's the neck King at? He ain't here, bro. The throne is vacated. I done took that thing, boy. Hold on, I can't even grab him. <laughs> I done took that thing, boy. Michigan Wolverines football, and then, damn, damn son, the University of this? Miami Hurricanes. Guys, size XL, made in America. That's another two-piece collegiate heat wave. Oh. All right, guys, it is hot as hell. We're about to store, man. Three bags full of stuff. I got 46 pieces, straight bangers. Y'all know what time it is. Shout out the Family Thrift Outlet. Whew. Came through as always. And all right, guys, so we are back at home right now. Sorry if this episode is a little bit shorter. I wanted to hit more stores ideally, but my family is in town to visit my baby. So that means I had to cut it a little bit short this episode. Now, my current budget at the end of all of this is $13,572.52. So we are still one third of the way to our final resting place, our final destination. And I truly do appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching, liking the videos, and of course, for you guys who do support the website, which is Thrift Heaven. All these items will be listed probably the day after and throughout the week that this video was originally released. So yeah, you guys stay tuned. More videos are coming soon. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you guys, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I rules
rapping, I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get 